16 inches. That's a large. This is a large, yep, normal right. large. So that's a large pizza on <laughs> yeah. top of the beast. And then this is the freaking uh, that's beast. That's the beast. That's, the that's beast. what my family's sweating right now. Jesus. <laughs> Hey everyone, real quick, want to give you some travel notices. Of course, you can always find these on my YouTube community tab. So Edmonton, Alberta, Calgary, Alberta, that area as you see on this map. Dates are still kind of to be decided, but just give you a heads up. Also, if you have any ideas for food challenges, which are not on foodchallenges.com and you are for sure are happening, feel free to give me some suggestions. Additionally, Texas and kind of east, all the way to kind of like Georgia. So in this little area on the map, similarly, same thing. If you have any suggestions for food challenges, which are not on food challenges.com you want to help out with the trip specifically hosting that one that would be excellent please send me a message on my social media and at that i want to give a huge thank you to the sponsor of this video which is surfshark vpn not only are they helping to support my travels but they are also keeping me safe on the internet and they can keep you safe as well. So a VPN, a virtual private network, helps to anonymize your data, helps to provide internet security. Additionally, what I think is really, really cool with them is I'm able to select an American server so I can access information that I can't from Canada, such as I was recently featured on Saturday Night Live. I couldn't access it because it was an American link, but I went and changed my server to an American address and there we go, I was able to access it. Additionally, of course, it's unlimited devices. I use it to save money on flights. Flight companies do kind of price gouge based on your location. Whereas my family uses it to watch different Netflix shows from different regions, such as like The Lord of the Rings. And I'm not for any kind of BS. They also are offering a 30 day money back guarantee. Yes, so you can literally try it out for 30 days. Of course, what's really cool is they are giving you this very special offer, which is 85% off and three months free. Yes, 85% off, three months free. Just use my little code on screen. Again, my code, Joel H. And everybody look forward to seeing you soon again if you're in any of those travelers able to help out with that trip feel free to send me a message and let's get to the rest of the video hey everybody joel hansen here here my good friend mr dan kennedy if you're not familiar definitely check him out so we are here at la hacienda brighton in north tonawanda new york just outside buffalo to do what it's literally on the wall advertised the beast challenge this is a 36 inch pizza challenge it's absolutely massive making it one of the biggest pizza challenges, actually probably the biggest I've ever attempted as a challenge. Um, so it's a total of over 15 pounds. Seven pounds of dough and five pounds of cheese, that's what it is. Then they threw all these extra toppings on we're anticipating, but that should be a lot of fun. Um, if we win, we get 150 bucks. If not, we are going to be very disappointed and pay a lot of money. Um, ultimate, How much is it if we fail? I think it's 80 bucks. Ooh, yeah, that's not too Plus tax. Ultimately, uh, this pizza hit challenge has never been completed even by four people. It is officially undefeated for the over five years of its existence, and hopefully we can change that today. So let's go in and see what we can do. Dan, you ready? I'm ready. Let's go eat. Hey everyone, so here we go, the massive beast. The picture, like the video is not doing it justice. This thing's absolutely, literally huge. Definitely, I'd say the biggest pizza I've ever tried. Although there is nobody that I would rather have beside me eat this challenge than Dan. So we're going to get this done, we'll see what we can do. One hour, let's get started. All right, they're going to count it down and we're going to get into this thing. Like I said, undefeated, even by teams of four. All right. They only have two. The other two teammates decided not to show up. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that, that's, that's our excuse today. That's our excuse today. All right, so let's get started. Let's take the count of five, four, three. Two, one, let's go. Be with us, guys. Green pizza. Tastes like pizza. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we are taking on now what is officially the biggest pizza I've ever attempted. Um, so this is a 36 inch, so I did one 36 inch before, but that 36 inch I don't think was as dense or heavy as this one. Um, it was still very large, but this one actually officially tops it. This one weighed in at over 15 pounds of solid pizza. Actually the pepper tastes really good. So generally the pizza comes with a pepperoni, um, just like that's the standard, however you can obviously request your 
pizza uh, or your toppings. So I went, well, I asked for green peppers and then half bacon. So half green peppers, half bacon. Um, we kind of ended up getting what they call sweet peppers. So I don't know if there's just a little bit of miscommunication there, but either way, um, they did taste really good. No complaints about that. And then we had the bacon. So the bacon on this was kind of like, uh, more like a bacon, almost bacon crumble in a way. So we found that it was very, very, very heavy. There's a lot of grease to it, and so it really soaked into the pizza, adding just a lot of density um, to the pizza itself. Pizza was um, cooked perfectly. Um, it was a, again, it's not like a, so I mean, there's seven pounds of dough. It was a definite crust to it, but it wasn't overly, overly thick. And I think what really aids that is that it wasn't overcooked. So it was cooked perfectly to which even though there was a bit of thickness to the pizza, it still went down um, easy, it was not hard to chew, etc., etc. Um, the sauce tasted really great. I mean, the cheese was cheese. And of course, I mean, having a fresh pizza really helps the experience overall. As I mentioned, I'm eating my good friend, Mr. Dan Kennedy or Killer Kennedy. And also I want to give a huge thanks to our friend, George. George was a champ throughout this. And he really helped us. There you go, almost halfway. You guys got it. So this challenge had been undefeated for five years. Originally it was released as a two-man challenge to which there was actually a $300 cash prize on it. Now after years of no teams even coming close, they actually made it a four-team challenge, um, or four-person team challenge, to which still nobody had completed it in the last couple years. If you complete this four people though, you only get gift cards. Um, and I want to give a shout out to our friend uh, David. Um, David, you've seen in a couple of my eating videos in the past, David Gonzalez. Um, he kind of was talking to the restaurant and the guy said, hey, well, it's no longer a two team challenge, but if two people could complete it, I would give $150, um, not the original 300, but I would give $150 cash if two people could complete it. So that was ultimately our quest to go on in, do that. Because, I mean, you know, who doesn't like a cash prize, especially when you get some good pizza in it as well. I'm going to drop my crush. I don't want to rip my mouth off. So again, as of us leaving the restaurant, the standard challenge was still the four people with a $100 uh, gift card as a prize. You do have one hour and you get the pizza for free along with t-shirts. So I imagine you could still go do it as four people for sure. And I'm not sure about the two person one. You'd have to kind of give a call. But everybody, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Let's see what happens. Hopefully we can get this win, this finish. And uh, hey, I mean, who doesn't like pizza, right? Well, I'll be honest. I actually really enjoyed this pizza and I like bacon on pizza. So let's go. Nice flavor change.
I really need to burp. <laughs> You can go check me out on YouTube. My name is Joel Hansen, J O E L H A N S E N. This is Dan Kennedy, D A N K E N N E D Y. Mystery Express, I don't know if it's mine or Dan's, but I'll take it anyway. I got you covered. What? Teamwork makes a dream work. Go down. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Randall can't go. Here we go. Done. Right. The 12 minutes and 50 seconds. Delicious pizza. Excuse me. No shortage of burps today. I'll tell you that much. Oh, there you go. Excuse me. <laughs> like I said, nobody I'd rather have eaten that pizza with than my friend Dan did. <laughs> Dan, thanks for coming along. Really appreciate it. Absolutely, it was fun. Huge thanks. <clears throat> Excuse me to everybody here at La Hacienda. Um, really good pizza, great staff, but a lot of fun. It was big. Now let's defeat it officially. Thanks to Dan. Definitely check out his stuff. Not familiar, amazing eater. So that everybody, till next time, say happy, healthy, hungry, and happy eating. It's awesome. You're gonna have a lot of attempts coming to try that now. It's awesome. What's your name? Joel? Oh Joel. my god. Is Florida at all? No. No. Okay. <laughs> look like uh, Joel, uh, my buddy over there, he's, uh, he's an actor actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Joel yeah. no Rush. You guys no. want a couple clean cups with some clean drinks in them? There you go, guys. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> oh, sure. Would you like to drink, you guys? Can we get your shirts? Yeah, but uh, I'll take another, we can another picture of that, though. Absolutely. Let me take I can't your wait to watch the video of how you guys did it. Right. Oh, well, thank you so much. I appreciate it. <laughs> the number of attempts for this challenge have just increased substantially. I guarantee there's going to be a lot of attempts over the next coming days and weeks. Guaranteed. Guaranteed.
Are they gonna, what are they gonna beat it? I don't know. You decide. We got some t-shirts. Although they only have them in extra large. I think they're assuming. They're right here. It says, I tamed the Brighton Beast. And then it literally says on the back, I consumed the Brighton Beast. Seven pounds of dough, five pounds of cheese, 400 pepperonis, but we did not. All consumed in 30 minutes or less. And a huge thank you to the Salerno family for coming out supporting us here today. Awesome friends, subscribers. So that, thank you again. How was the overall experience? Awesome. It's uh, like I said, usually it's kind of a mix between like disgusting and <laughs> and very interesting to watch us. So epic burps. Yeah, and, and and a lot of burps today. So again, huge thank you for coming out. Really appreciate it. And uh, till next time, you know what to do. So we're back at uh, Stinky Face Barbecue. George and Mr. Dan. Dan's here to do this uh, steak challenge that we did quite a while ago, me and George. And the Luma goes right down yeah. there. Yeah, so there's sticky face here, Luma goes down the road. So uh, yeah, it should be fun. Let's watch Dan eat a steak challenge. Look at that. Mr. Beautiful Dan Killer Kennedy is going for his awesome looking steak challenge. It does look good. Look at that. It's I huge. Wish, I wish you guys could smell this. because I'm not going to lie, I wish I kind of had one right now, but you know. You should do it. You should do it again. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't necessarily be against it, to be honest with you. Have them so. cooking up. Yeah. yeah. All right. So let's start at the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat steak. Green steak. Does that look really good? It does look very good. It smells good. I got this thing medium. Enjoy, Mr. Daniel. Yeah. I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> It just, it's the smell that's getting me, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me want that. Yeah, it smells real good. Yeah. Who doesn't like beef, though? This is called Action Shots. Action Shots are delicious. While action of eating. <laughs> See if we can get this thing sawn in half. <laughs> 